Good morning, guys. On my way to work. Um, it's a couple of things I want to talk about. Um, the main thing I want to talk about is uh, I want to finish up with Kim Burrell. Um, okay. Um, when I say you over Christians, whoo, y'all giving me the business. Telling me I'm going to burn in hell. My day will come. I'm going to die with the rest of the, you know, abominations. Ooh, y'all are giving it to me. But I'm not worried. Because I'll burn in hell and I'll die right after you. Right after you. You know why I'm dying after you? Because I may be a lot of things. But I'm never mean and hateful. Never wishing death upon anybody. Which leads me to Kim Burrell. So, uh, Kim Burrell then got so high and mighty on her horse that now she has to face her words. Her words are now looking at her in her face and they green. Her words are the color green. And they're looking at her going, goodbye. Because now, whatever promotion that you could get, off of the Ellen DeGeneres, DeGeneres show. Oh, and believe me, honey, that was money. The Ellen DeGeneres show is absolutely what the word is. It's called guap. Because, see, you may walk down the street and talk to 15 people and only mm, maybe one. If you walk a past a church, you may know who Kim Burrell is. But you better believe. 13 out of the 15 is going to know who Ellen DeGeneres is, okay? The rich white woman with a talk show. No, the rich white lesbian woman with the talk show. You better believe that one. So Ellen canceled it. And I said that. I said, Ellen, you better cancel that hussy. You better cancel her. Because if you let that hussy on the show and you don't tear her apart... Ooh, the gay's going to get you, man. A very smart man told me there's three things you don't mess with. The gays, the children, and Peter. Okay? You hear me? You'll make it on YouTube if you don't mess with the gays, the children, and Peter. You can make it in the universe. Just don't talk about none of the three because they all too touchy. The universe is too sensitive to, to talk about those things. They just can't do it. And you know, right about now, everybody's hypersensitive. So those things, my small YouTubers, stay clear from. Gays, Cherry, and Peter. You don't want it with Peter. Remember when that football player went to jail? I mean, you can kill a black man before you can kill a dog. And that's the truth here in America. You better don't. You remember that commercial McDonald's had up? That Coon commercial? When um, they was on an uh, airplane and the guy reached for the, uh, the girl's chicken McNugget. And she was like, you better don't. And uh, I mean, Negroes was outraged over that commercial. That sucker will go down with... What's in the crispy chicken wrap? That sucker. And, uh, you know, they took that down immediately. And you better don't. Immediately. They took that sucker down. Because black folks don't say that. I say it now because it's like a joke on that joke. But, uh, you know, we don't say no, you better don't. That's why we were so... Out well, that's why the black community was so outraged about the, community, uh, about the commercial. Because we was like, huh? We didn't even say that. Where that saying even come from? And we know a white man made a commercial. And then I can't think of the third commercial. Was it the... Was it a Popeye's commercial? But, man, it's three commercials that will go down in history as the most coonery-ish commercials ever. But getting back to um, Kim Burrell, yeah, Kim, you done messed up your coins. Because what's funny to me is over Christians are the most hypocritical beings. I don't know what's wrong with them. 
I don't know with it. The hypocrisy. It's just such blatant hypocrisy um, related to this Kim Burrell um, thing. I'm telling y'all, she's somewhere turning and flicking the light on and off, burning the skin off her hand. About to lose her mind, praying every day that this just goes away. Because, because, oh, it is hot in here. Let me turn this down. Sorry, guys. Um, because now she's messing with her coins. She didn't reveal herself as a hypocrite because you um, agreed to be on a lesbian show. Why? Was it because of the coin? So I guess you don't believe in the community and you want us all to burn up and die if you're not getting paid from us. Hence, you need to give Frank Ocean back his money. Since you are against us and you know you have a problem with men sticking their dingling in another man's face you need to give a give them back give him back his money okay matter of fact frank ocean pull that joker pull it i don't even know if you can pull it i don't know take it off the shelf but i tell you what ellen degenerate ellen degenerate tweeted oh y'all ain't got to worry that hussy cancel. She will not bring her over Christian self on my show, singing the praises of the Lord, and looking at me wishing I would spontaneously combust. No ma'am, no ham. Let her go on over there. And then she went after um Bishop Eddie Long. Nobody knows if that man got HIV or not. Or um is innate. Nobody knows. She don't know. It haven't came out. She don't know. But she sure put it out there in the universe. Chabu. But let me say this about Tamar. Tamar, baby. Tamar, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, Tamar be really, really, I, I don't, see, I don't know what to say. You know, she has that baby girl syndrome. Um, I'm telling y'all, I'm the oldest. Them babies be a trip. Sorry, Nate says, if you're a baby, sorry, sorry. Um, we'll put it this way. They be a trip to the older children because we don't understand sometimes the way you think. And um, we just look at you guys like, what in the world? What happened? We always raised in the same family. What in the world? But um, Tamar, sometimes you, you really hate to hate her sometimes and I have to admit that about her even though she's horrifically childish um, at times but what she when she tried to protect Kim Burrell I'll give her kudos because she tried she really did she basically was like because um, I'm driving I can't read but read the um, tweet the, the Instagram post and um, drive but she basically said that um she basically said, I don't want, know why everybody's so shocked. These people, meaning, you know, Christians, old Christians, have been taught that, you know, a gay lifestyle is wrong since birth. And all she was doing was, expre was expressing what we were taught. And, um... Tamar said, I've been in several churches where they've said that that lifestyle is abomination and evil. She just said it. So, all we can do is pray for her. Kudos to you, Tamar. If I wasn't driving, I would clap for you. Kudos to you. And, and you know, Tamar... You know, sometimes she just be so off the the wall with her with what she says. But in this regard, kudos to you, girl. I'm really, really, really. That shows great maturity in what you said. You didn't even sound childish when you put the Instagram post out there. Now, you know, Tamar favors for read, delete, read, delete. You know that girl will make a dang on post and then put it there and then delete it. 
but you know, and I'm and I'm not saying she deleted it because she doesn't want to, you know, she doesn't want to back the um the community because we know Miss Tamar be snapping and and you know, pursing her lips and you know, yes, bitch, all over the place all night and day. We know Tamar will do that. But I think she knows, hey girl, you already in enough. Let's not even don't even touch it. Just leave that Kim Burrell. Just walk away, girl. Just just walk away. Just yeah, leave it alone, girl. Leave it alone. So, um, Tamar, you know, I wish you just had somebody. I wish you just had a person that could constantly like walk around with you that would, you know, zap you and be like, don't say that. Like if they see she about to say something dumb, don't say that. Don't say that. Like Vince need one of them. I forget the name of them buttons, but you know what I'm talking about, like a zapper or something. Just don't say that. Don't say that. But that post, yeah, Tamar. All we can do is just pray for her because she is about to go through a friggin' storm. You do not mess with the gays, Cherry, and Peter, and Kimberell. You about to find that out a hard way, honey. You about to hit your coins. You really will. You really will. Because it's... My thing is, and I'm going to close up with this. You have every right to feel the way that you feel. Every single right. To say what you want to say. Be how you want to be in your church. Even though my life... my how I try to live my life is... I try to live my life in a way of thinking that I'm always being recorded because we live in a life that um, a time that you don't know when someone is taping you you don't know and it end up on you know social media you just don't freaking know you can't do nothing now you know that's why you know I try to walk away from a lot of things I do anything that will mess with my coin I'm not I'm, I'm not affiliated I can't really do it but um hold on guys okay I'm back um, what I'm saying is, um, everybody has a right to feel what they feel. Everybody, um, depending on how your large your platform is, you need to stay away from the three, the trilogy is what I call them. Um, but you need to stand firm in what you're doing, and you cannot allow money to um, get in the way of your views. Or you can't, you can't, oh, you can't cross the two. You can't say on a high platform, you know, whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. But, oh, if you pay me enough money, then I'll um, push my ethics to the side or my beliefs to the side for this amount of money. And that's what I think is burning um, a lot of people up. You can be whoever you want to be. Talk about whatever it is you want to talk about. Everybody has a right to their opinion. Just like I have a right to be a part of the community. She has a right to 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 feel the way she feels about the community. Nobody control can control the way I think. And I'm not controlling the way she thinks. But don't use us as a come up. And I just said that about 50 Cent. I made a video about that too. 50, you you do not like the gays at all. But you had your butt in that daggone gay club making coins off of the gays. And that to me is hypocrisy. People say, oh no, that's business. No, don't, don't, no. You can't do that. You can't, you know, go into a gay club and then on your way out the door call, you know, call us fags and dykes and studs and you know, carpet munchers and whatever else you want to call us. You know, you can't do that because then you get called a hypocrite. Anyway, guys, have a good day. Deuce.